I did do some practice, so I should actually be slightly warmed up with some Mario 3. Obviously, I'm still going to make mistakes. Mario 3 is impossible to actually stay good at. This game hates everyone and everything. GM on the run's MFP, please. Yo, thank you. Turkey's really healthy for you. 100% resets in World 1 are a no-no. So we're going to we're going to make sure that we don't have to worry about resets in World 1. No re nobody wants resets in World 1. Nobody. That is the worst thing you could possibly ask for. Thanks a lot, kind of messy. I really appreciate that. Ooh, good movement. Very good movement. Ah, I knew I was going to get the PC there. Yo, Komodo Dragon Jesus, thank you so much. <laughs> Got it. Only on 100% you use a star on this hammer, brother. Kills the boomerang. And he actually gave me the right pattern, too. You want him to move forward. Ha boomerang bros that move forward take more time than boomerang bros that move faster. The chest won't, won't appear until everything's off the screen. So if the boomerang bro moves forward, you're going slower. That's that's bad. That's bad RNG. That's more time. You want him to move backwards. It's actually a couple second difference, or maybe one second or something like that. I can't remember. But it's a big difference. Hammer Brother moving backwards. It's it's just like Hammer Brother's doing top patterns in the in the brick level versus bottom pattern too. <laughs> My mini game spreadsheet. I see what you did there. That's kind of funny. Yes, in Mario Three you actually run faster than fire. That's a that's a sad pog. That's not a real pog. The fact that that happens is very depressing. Oh, <laughs> I thought I'd instantly land on the level like it was like a hand trap or something. Don't ask, guys. Don't ask. It's not a hand trap, though. It's a sand trap. And then I'm done. There's no greater smell on this planet than uh, sautéed onions in the morning. Dude, the smell of pan-fried onions versus the taste is two worlds. Two different worlds. They're two different worlds. It's insane. It's insane. The smell of pan-fried onions is has this smell. It's like, it's in a tier of its own. It's, it's close to the smell of bacon. It has that way about it. It has that comfort smell. It's very weird. Is 109 possible? I'm gonna make it possible. Yeah, it's possible. We're gonna make sure it's possible. Right, guys? Typical Zeus, trying to prevent me. Every time. Onions are the worst brutal? I mean, for eating and stuff, have you ever smelled- oof. Hmm. The smell of pan fried onions, my man says no. Get rid of them. That's all I can say. Any- any man who doesn't appreciate the great smell of onions should- should be alone forever. Just kidding, that's- that's horrible. That's horrible. That is horrible. Now you must convert him. When I- when I met Kaylee, she didn't eat bacon. She's like, I don't like bacon. Now, I think maybe she didn't like the- she likes raw steak. Well, not raw, but you know what I mean, rare steak. So, I mean, I guess there's that kind of... There's like a weird- some people like bacon, some people don't, but I think she had a bad experience with bacon, maybe? You know what I mean? And then I cooked her my bacon. Now she fucking loves bacon. So, Kaylee's, Kaylee's like me and doesn't like fat. We don't like fat on meat. Uh, fat on meat actually kind of makes me gag a little bit. It makes me a little sick. Like, I can't, I can't stomach it for some- like, well, I can stomach it. It can be in my stomach. Like, I'm not gonna throw up like that. But I can't, like, swallow it. It's it's really weird. I have this weird thing. So I think maybe somebody made her bacon that wasn't crispy at all. And a lot of people don't actually like really crispy bacon. But I do. 
and so does she. I like very crispy bacon. Not burnt crispy, but crispy crispy. It's like you eat vegetables. Don't give me that crap. Vegetables cannot give you the same kind of weird thing. You're just trying to get out of vegetables because there's so many different vegetables. How dare you say vegetables as if it's all of vegetables make you feel the way one thing makes me feel. Trying to get out of your veggies, huh? Get back to the dinner table. No dessert for you. Nice try. Yeah, some vegetables. There you go. My, my said it correctly. Gino trying to opt out of vegetables. If we ever meet Gino, I like a TwitchCon or something. I'm taking you out for dinner. I'm going to get you a platter of veggies. That's it. That's it. Platter of veggies for my, for my boy Gino. Arugula is actually not that good. Compared to other lettuces, I don't think arugula is very good. Not a huge fan of arugula. You like lettuce but hate salad? Which kind of lettuce? Baby dill all the way, yeah. But baby dill is like super powerful, so you have to have like baby dill in like weird ways. Arugula is awful, I agree. But I mean, you like arugula, you like arugula. Is she at the door? Oh my god, Subway. Thank you. Wait, she's trying to get out of the room? Oh, I didn't even know she was... I thought she was still laying in her bed. Eve. You can leave the door open now, though. Yeah, you can leave the door open. Hey, right, Subway, after all that talk about vegetables, I get the whole thing. Bread, vegetables, and meat, and the stuff. Oh yeah, look at that messy sub. I hate when the quality of subs go down. When the, cl the dude clearly hates his life. You know your life's gone down the drain when you can't even stomach making a sandwich anymore. Like, if you can't successfully make a decent sandwich, honestly, just by look, it doesn't even have to taste right. If you can't make a sandwich that doesn't look good, your life's... What are you doing with your life? Like, I feel like the sandwich making portion is a good representation of if your life's together or not. So if you go to Subway or, or a sandwich place and the sandwich looks like shit, you know the person making it is giving up. That's it. They don't care about anything at that point. If you don't care about how you make a sandwich, I can see that you don't care about anything. All right, guys, here we go. Here's some intense things right now. Oh, that sucks. I jumped. What? How? That is impossible. That- what? Since when does that Goomba actually damage you there? Impossible. Oh, I'm gonna keep going because I want to do the fortress still. Unbelievable. I- I have to do the double block grab here. Which is alright. The stupid fish. Getting in my way. Get out of my way, fish. Are you guys ready for this? Candle jump, save some frames, and thwomp skip. Let's go. Let's get in and run, guys. Let's not dick around anymore. Let's do it. Oh, I missed my A-press. Dang it. Well, we got one part of it. I missed my A-press. Shoot. I know, and the sandwiches are messy too, dude. Sandwiches are messy. I think Star Powers, exactly.
Oh my god, Homer and his sandwich. So funny. I love that episode so much. Yo, Steve B. Hey Mitch. Haven't been able to watch since this semester at school started. So glad to see SMB3 again though. It's my favorite game. Me too, man. And thank you so much for those kind words. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Oh my god, too many bad things just happened. That's okay. That run died. That 4-1 killed it. <laughs> 